Hello, hello, welcome back to Ravenport. Um, Hitman82, I'm joining Squirrely today. Hello, Squirrely. Hello. And Rickster, hello, Rick. Howdy, howdy. It's Rick Sr., he took his shades off. Where did your shades go? I thought you were wearing shades. I don't think so. Yeah. Maybe it was Squirrely. <laughs> Squirrely, you got his shades. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Uh, today, today we've got stuffs on the go. It is morning. Um, done some off-screen work all week. Played farm sim. Mm, got some stuff done. Uh, let's have a little looky at the map. Um, so harvested nine, field nine, and sold it, and sold some sunflowers for purple farm. So got a good deal on those. And we've now got um, oats and wheat to harvest over here. I said sunflowers, I meant wheat. So wheat on number nine. Anyway, so we've got that bit to harvest there. And Rick, you are working on some contracts, are you, for Purple Farm? Yeah, I reckon. Alrighty, and I'm going to do some weeding down south on 18, 19, 21, 23. So we've got that new weeder, so we're going to go and use that a little bit. Big old case, look at that. Coming up on 60 hours on this thing, it's crazy. Little thing. And there's a fuel trailer here. Why is that here, Ask Really? Because <laughs> I ran out of fuel last week. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Poor harvester. Yeah. I'm not good for the engine. Oh, well. Hmm. Oh, you know what? My game sounds are really low, are they? Or is that just. Yeah, I think they're low. Oh, well, it's too late to go and turn them now. I don't want to stop the video, but. Oh well. well. Just zoom in closer. There we go. Alright, so yeah, we'll head down and do some weeding down in the southern fields. And um, we did, uh, as we were skipping through the night, the only time we've skipped is basically from 11 p.m. The, the night previous to this to this morning. And that's the only time skipped since the last video. The rest has all been worked through. <laughs> A whole lot of work through. Not making much money though. I think, I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to just stop doing all these southern contracts and just forget about these southern fields. Either that or buy them all up and grass them and then just have use them for making silage bales or something. I don't know. Got to do something with them, right? Which uh, which contract are you going to be working on, Rick? Uh. I haven't decided yet. Lots of fertilizing and harvesting to do. And around and around and around we go. And if you don't feel like doing any of those, you can always hop in the uh, tractor and grab a weeder and work on these contracts too. If you like doing weeding, whatever you like. And boy, this weeder's big. Oh my gosh, uh, I'm going to have to do some repairs here soon, too. At what point do you start losing um, horsepower and speed? Is it 50%? Any idea? Did you say more? One quarter. Oh, at 25%. Wow. Well, okay, then. You talking about on the repair scale? Yeah, well, uh, the with the um, vehicle enhancement, you can actually see the percentages. So the uh, the scale doesn't seem that all that accurate. Yeah, anyway, yes, talk about that in the long, <laughs> the long and short of it. Well, let me see, I'm doing 12 kilometers an hour here now with this cedar and I think it goes up to 15, but I don't know that for sure, so I'll repair all the stuff and see. I'm not going to bother driving over to the shop though, I'm too lazy. It's only an extra, what is it, 10 or 20 percent, something like that, maybe 25. Uh, nope. No, I don't want to sell it, I'm thinking. Beep, beep. I, I, I could hear that come through on your squirrely when I repaired it. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. 
want more. I have to be careful not to sell stuff when I'm repairing, because that can happen. I'm not saying I, I've done it before, I'm just... Oh yeah, actually, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that fuel trailer, was that the end game? Mm-hmm. So it just does fuel only? Yes. Yeah. Yes. There's a modified version of it that they've added the repair script to. Oh. So that oh. it does repairs and, and fuel. Kind of it's a the service trailer. Mod hub. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just kind of do it on the fly. I'm in a tractor or whatever and see this stuff needs to be repaired. I just go into the vehicle screen and repair it. But uh, saving a bit of money here and there, especially once you get into the bigger tractors, which I am planning to get a bigger tractor this week. Bigger tractor. I want to get that Great Plains planter. And so I need a tractor about 300 horsepower ish. I don't know what to get for cedar. The, uh, the planter will do the grain the grain stuff, so I guess it kind of does both. I was thinking about a condor cedar. <laughs> That's bizarre. Did you stall? Did you hit the off button when you weren't supposed to? Oh, I know you were in. You're getting in the truck to go unload. That's what you're yep. doing. Oh, I see how it is. I suppose I could have come and done that for you. Yeah, it's all right. I got it. Now you can run out of fuel in two vehicles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, the truck's pretty much full, so... Guess I'll have to do a lot of driving around to empty that, I guess. Yeah, I, I filled it up <laughs> yesterday. Filled up uh, a bunch of the vehicles and did some repairs and stuff. So Constant. It's, it's almost like it's maintenance. Okay, so is that 19? 19 is done weeding. Tony. Mm, 23 is the next one, maybe? I don't remember what the next one is to my west. Certainly getting to know the map, playing on it so much. Um, I've been working on flooring this week, so basically I work for a while and then when my back says no that's enough then I'll, I'll uh, sit down in front of the computer and play a bit of firm sim and then when I feel it better I pause it and go and do some more and come back and unpause and keep going so a whole lot of farming happening this week take advantage of it get bitten by the firm sim bug work on the on-screen uh, like work off-screen on our on-screen map Thought about trying single player, but nah. This works. It's too bad the weeds weren't like flower tops, so you could see like dandelions in there or something, so it's a little more visible. You see what you're doing. Pretty hard they to see. They do when they hit the growth tick. Oh. Then you have to spray them. Weeder didn't work. Oh. Gotcha. Well, we don't want to spray stuff. We'll use mechanical removal. It's better. More environmentally friendly, right? Better for eating, too. So, um, here we've got around the house now where we, we put some um, crushed stone down, trying to keep the weeds down. And then we spray the weeds every time they pop up through the, the crushed stone. Spray them with a mixture of vinegar, water, and um, dish soap. And it works. A few applications over the summer and, and don't have to deal with uh, weeding. Run the weed, weed whacker along the side of the house. So. Whatever works, right? Dandelions don't like it. Uh, The wasps are going crazy, doing the first apple harvest today, uh, and this summer's coming to a close. Seem to zoom right by.
been doing some renovations and repairs, either of you? Not so oh, yeah. much. Busy working. What about you, Rick? Yep. A little bit. By choice or no? <laughs> <laughs> Joys of ownership. Yeah. That's a lot of work down at home. Mm -hmm. Something to be said for renting, Sometimes I guess. More than others. Yeah, yeah. I'm either working at my house or working on my parents' house or working on my wife's mom's house or yeah. 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 They don't think you get paid for any of that. Nope. You, nope. If anything, I'm usually having to buy stuff, so yeah. Yeah, well. Most of the, you know, the tool stuff, if I, if something I write up on that I need, I might as well go ahead and buy it. Hmm. So exactly. I'll have it for next time. Exactly. The supplies, they, you know, parents and stuff, they usually supply the, that stuff. Mm-hmm. Like the materials, but I, I'll buy the tools. It's good, then next time they need some if more I don't help. already have them. Yeah, well. <laughs> My, uh. My grandparents, uh, from both sides, I've got um, a lot of tools. <laughs> I've got more tools than I can use right now, just sitting in, in boxes and just inherited ones that are quite old. And one of these days, oh, two, two, eight, eight, one of these days, going to have to actually take them out of the boxes and sort them. Some of them I have been and kind of mix them with my own tools and pick out the best of each. And don't really break many tools, so you don't really need a lot of spares. Got to use them to break them, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the backsplash is going to be an in interesting project since it's one of the most visible parts of the kitchen and never done it before. So, tiling black backsplash, a uh, subway tile run a running bones. Got some pictures I haven't posted yet of. Just the progress on the kitchen from the start to finish. We get, you know, start with plywood floors and open plywood uh, cabinets or cardboard in some instances, and work and uh, plywood countertop, and you just kind of work up from there. So you could really see the progress, especially this last month or so. Got the cabinets and the countertop and the flooring installed. So. That flooring was fun. Kind of on the fence about click flooring. Um, it's somewhat easy, but it's also, um, I'm not going to say cheap, but you compare that to, you know, a proper wood floor or linoleum or something, it sure seems like it's um, the cheaper alternative. Cheaper as in the quality. I mean, <laughs> That's bizarre just to keep hearing these random game noises. <laughs> oh, well, at least we're not playing Seven Days to Die or something, so we just keep hearing things gnawing on you. Rick gets enough of that with zombie bears dropping out of the sky without hearing them biting someone else first. Hey, Rick. Oh, that that was pretty funny when we were walking along there, and you went by that house, and all of a sudden, all the stuff drops out of the sky on you. It was craziness. Yeah, it would have been so bad if it had been you know one or two, but fifty. <laughs> yeah. Right on well, your head. I mean, all around you, there's nowhere to go. Like, yeah. okay. well, that's just yeah. so that they have a fair chance to get trolled. you. <laughs> yeah. Rick the Destroyer. And you're just starting out, you barely got a, <laughs> a wooden bow and a, a stone and axe. And, yeah. Like, come on, I'm not even dressed yet. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. No, we started. Maybe you want to say a dirty word. Yep. Yeah, I think I've heard you say dirty words at that game. 
or I don't know, was it that game or Space Engineers? I'm not sure which. Oh, oh no, it was Ark. Yeah, yeah, it was Ark. Well, that that game is just a troll game to start with, I think. Yeah. It's... Hi, hi, welcome to Ark. Have a giga. <laughs> <laughs> The oh, ones that irritated me the most were those stupid little, uh, what do you call them? I don't remember what the name of them are, but they they came up with this little, the little land critter that would steal things from you, and then they turn around and did one that was a bird type that would steal things from you, and it would try to drag you over into a, you know a dangerous area or something. At least that's what it seemed hmm. to be doing. From, uh, it just. It's a game that I wanted to enjoy, but the devs wouldn't let me. <laughs> yeah. Well, didn't the first time you played it was during an event or something, wasn't it? A winter event. Uh, well, they they had like every holiday they would have a Thanksgiving or a, a Christmas or something, and yeah, I I just gotten started and they dropped this stupid event, which basically took an alpha and turned it into a skeleton. I think it was a Halloween. Anyway, an Alpha Carno shows up on my little thatch hut. <laughs> like, Damn game. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. That's when you switch to the Battlefield and you go and murder a bunch of people and then you feel better. <laughs> Ruin Damn. someone else's day. Uh, yeah. I may play it again at some point, but I'll probably wait for some mods to come out that'll allow me the opportunity to tone down some of the stupidity. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, they give you the rafts and then they take the rafts away with the, the little whale things that would destroy the rafts. So what's the point? Mm. It's like you can play any way you want to as long as you play the way we want you to, <laughs> which is die all the time. Where's the fun in that? I don't know. Maybe it's they just, just like. I don't. I don't the, need it. The game's fun if you start it all over. So we'll just make you start over all the time. Mm. Nah. Well, I saw a video today. The uh, this guy, he's uh, fishing. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. It's one of the southeastern states, and he's he's fishing down by the water, and his friend starts yelling, "Run, run, and get back!" And you see this ripple coming up, and he's he's hooked this big fish and there's a croc chasing trying to catch the fish and he hauls the fish up and he's running backwards hauling the fish across the ground and the croc is just wiggling his way after it. he catches the thing and gobbles the thing whole and meanwhile they're squ screaming obscenities at this croc that come, came up and ate his big fish <laughs> oh, good stuff but yeah could have been worse buddy could have been your feet yeah I have no interest in fishing any place like that. If stuff bites back. I guess that's true sport fishing. <laughs> when the critters can get you. That'd be like arm and deer. And then we'd all need camo to go in the woods. Wear a hunter orange and the deer can see you and come after you. I imagine their their little deer huts would be pretty awful. You'd look in the door and there's all these human heads stuffed on the walls. That'll teach us. It's like, it's like predator. How awful. Speaking of awful, the the Amazon burning. Holy smokes! Hardly even heard about it for. I think the fire been going for about three days before I ever heard about it. Big fire, and I don't know. Is it it's... A, a lightning thing? No, or no. Well, it's hard to say because uh, there's some political turmoil there. So some are saying um, that there are people lighting it to make the president look bad. The president of, um, like, is it Venezuela? Um, anyway, trying to, you know, doing it for political reasons, burning the forest. Oh, I got you. And then some are saying, well, no, they're not doing it for that at all. They're burning it to make room for cattle ranching. And it, so I don't know what's going on. I'd have to go down there to find out. And I'm not going down there. So I want to leave my well, yards. That's, <laughs> that's been a practice, I think, down there for mm -hmm. centuries. 
was you know, what they call slash and burn. Yeah. I can't remember. It was a crazy amount of forests burning. Like, like this is yeah. this is pretty serious, and they need to like get those fires. Maybe got out of hand or something. Um, maybe I don't know. I do not know. I mean, you you well. Forgive my simple mind, but I would think a rainforest fires wouldn't really do well. Um, but maybe it's it's maybe dry it's there dry. right now. I don't know. I do not know. Yeah. That. But it's pretty bad to be losing the rainforest. That's pretty big for sequestering carbon. Not to mention converting CO2 to uh, O2 for us. Uh, was that the last seeding or weeding one? Yep, yep. All right, there's all the weeding done. Yay! Got to make sure we get the weeding done. What is it, 10% yield when there's weeds? Do you lose 10%? Something like that. I want to do that. Especially these little fields. It's 10% yield, there won't be anything left. Well, I guess it's only you, 10%. But... Do you have any wheat? Wheat? Mm. Your floors? If we do, well, we're harvesting some right now. Uh, yeah, 171,000 units in, in storage. It looks like 678 was the high price. I, I took mine down to the the port. It had, but the ranch has the same price on it, so. Yeah, the ranch is closer for us then. Yep. All right, well, we'll get it sold. We've got that. I was, I was waiting on that. 78, I, I think it was. I was waiting on it to sell because we still had a little strip of it that wasn't on the same growth tick. So, gotcha. thank you for the reminder. Whoops, what did I do there? Get back up. Hit the wrong button again. I think so I'm going to wait on my canola because I think, I think it'll go a little higher. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Yep, it'll go. I don't know, it just seems like we got a better price at one time, because I don't know how this thing worked. Mm. 1248 like I think, would be a decent price, but it's, well, I don't know if maybe it's all over the place from doing the contracts and selling the stuff, that it Could be. makes the prices bounce around a bit, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's just hard to determine, you know, do you wait, you know, what <laughs> do price you... do you sell at? I guess that's the same problem that most farmers have is you know how long do you wait it's like playing the stocks and you're you don't know when you want to sell before the price crashes yeah you know what i think i'll just go ahead and get rid of it mm -hmm. it, ain't, it ain't making money sitting in the silo so so i don't know if it makes any difference to wait three more minutes it used to and um 15 and I don't know. I think maybe it was changed in 17. My gosh. I think I should know this. One of those you should know this but don't uh, moments. But um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how the pricing works now. Uh, I don't think it's got anything to do with the uh, like it doesn't reset at the top of the hour. It's when you're selling, I no, guess. It's different. But it also seems to change even across the hour. You would see the price creeping up or down. Uh, Let's see right now the uh, where that squirrely go. The canola is not moving at all. It's just flat line. And there's no green arrow or red arrow. So you down the so Yeah, yeah. Woo. Don't think no. I don't think I got. Canola anywhere else? Nope. Uh, there's, I think, two fields growing canola for Purple Farm, right? Where'd you go, Squirrelly? I'm, I'm hunting you down, trying to find you. You must be down in the south. Oh, I see it. Just follow the tracks. I'm running right along the tracks. I'm almost at where the horses are. I see ya. No horses. We horses were. We sold them. I huh. sold them. The animal dealer. Hopefully, they found good homes. 
have to wait till you finish this little bit here. Start baling some straw. Just to sell though, uh, I think um, I, I already took a couple loads of straw, two, three loads of straw down to um, uh, Green Farm for TMR and mixed up some. Oh, of course, I'm not close enough. I'm going to drive forward a little bit. Actually, um, how full are you? Oh yeah, go ahead and start harvesting and I'll, uh, I'll just drive along next to you. And away we go. Don't get stuck on this stuff. Here we go. Can I hold it? Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So uh, I guess we're dumping this in the silo for now. Um, and we'll sell the, after we've done the rest of the wheat there, we'll sell all the wheat too. And sell all the oats. And we'll basically wait and all wait right. till the harvest is over before I start selling stuff. Yeah, we might wait. If we don't like the price, we might wait a bit. And if this storage gets full, we switch to the other storage. Oh, I used the train to actually sell stuff the other day <laughs> over at the port. For a contract, I think. Yeah, and I dumped it here and then moved it over with a with for a contract. I think that's how it worked. I can't remember now. Okay, can I just run this up to the end? Oh, actually, why don't I could just go dump this now? Round and round and round we go. Yeah, so uh, so this week I imagine I'll probably keep doing some off-screen farming, and we'll uh, get all these fields going again. And and I imagine by next next week, uh, by next um, recording, we'll probably have some purple harvesting to do again. Hopefully, I guess we'll see. Come on, track. Um, now it seems like maybe the best way to make money in this, if you've got admin and can skip time, is to uh, work the fields we've got and then just ignore the contracts and just just keep working our own fields. Uh, this week, the amount of time I spent doing contracts, I could have probably harvested our fields three, four times. So I don't know if that would be a better way to go to get more money or what. But we want to get some I money. Generally use, generally use contracts in between harvest. Mm -hmm. or, you know, work needs to be done. I just end to up, get some money coming in. It's not really the money maker. I end up uh, doing the contracts. So uh, this this last for the last harvest, um, the uh, I was still doing contracts and, and trying to shoehorn in um, planting purple farm and pl and um, harvesting over here on blue farm and it was I was pretty I was I was hopping. I did hire some workers. Not gonna lie. The, uh, the workers actually, um, the only time, in my opinion, they're not worth it is those small southern fields. The workers spend so much time derping around trying to turn around. It's not worth the money, in my opinion. Uh, on the big fields. I just fields, do hard paying them $600 an hour. Well, as long as you get more than $600 oh. out of them. Mm. I don't know. I find, I find the um, the charge isn't bad if, if they're doing work that's going to make you a lot more money. Um, now, I guess I'd, I would do it myself and not hire them if if I wasn't already doing other stuff that's making lots of money. So, yeah, I didn't say I didn't use them. I just said the only thing gives me heartburn mm -hmm. is how much I have to pay them. Mm -hmm. Sound like every employer. <laughs> Darn I employees. Mind, I wouldn't mind paying a fair wage, but I don't know anybody who makes $600 an hour. I don't know any place crops grow in uh, in a, a few minutes either, but I guess we'll just have to farm some derpics. We'll leave it at that, right? Well, I, I, under, I understand what they're doing. I mean, there's really not a whole lot other than 
it's the same reason why they introduced the, the equipment basically wearing out money I mean, sink i've got a got a tractor was what 14 days on it and it's worth about 20 grand i paid 180 for it mm -hmm. uh, i don't you know that's just just something to introduce something to spend money on because there's really not that much yeah once you get the kind of the equipment you want and the fields you want i guess you move on to another map not there yet though still lots to do on this one get the seed production going and all that stuff yeah. anyway we're gonna have to leave it at that for today because we are about out of time it is that time already wow it zooms 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 by doesn't it amazing how it does that all right so rick you get to start us off this time you later folks and squirrely have a good one and we'll see you next time. Make sure you tune in and, uh, well, obviously you tune in. I was going to say tune in to other views, but nope. <laughs> Not today. All right, so uh, hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed what you saw, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.